Hey, it's Winnie t um, Jet Set Winnie time. <coughs> Just coming on here and saying it's Winnie time. Probably sounds a bit weird. Welcome to the stream, welcome to the stream. Hey yo, I'm going to start off with some uh, Trash of the Universe. Put the Trash of the Universe to start off a uh, Tuesday night with. Hope everyone's doing well. I uh, hope you're doing well, Quebs. I've just spoken to you, I know. Hope your day at work's going um, at least bearable. A little work day, should I say. See how far I can get on this. I think I've got the game volume sorted out. It was a little bit loud earlier, but it still is. Do let me know. And I will make a change. Yeah, yeah, this is the one with the, uh, with the weird voice and the music. any better? How was that? I can't hear now. Hold on. Is that any better? Cool. Yeah, this is the one with the weird music in it. The weird voice in the... Ah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. In the music. And the bats that you can't see very well when they go in front of these windows. careful of the uh, rogue spider up there, look. I see ya. Oh, it seems fair to me. Jet Set Willy Online, the thing is, another thing with Jet Set Willy Online is that you, when you die, it makes a sound. That's the only thing I wish on here, because there's no sound effects. It's just music. Well, there are sound effects when you collect items and stuff like that, but there are very, very few sound effects, I should say. Come on. 
Yeah, no fall damage, that is, that is a good thing. That bit where you have to do the tower with the clock at the top, that would be pretty impossible to do without, uh, if there was fall damage. I've done that tricky bit at the bottom, let's see if we can... Uh... And up now to do this bit. So none of the famous Jet Set Willy death loops in this game, this version of Jet Set Willy, so... Fall damage would be a real pain in the butt here. No! Oh, fuck, that was lucky. Fuck, that was lucky. No, this version's pretty normal room names. It's, it's done by the same guy who did the uh, Jet Set Willy online though. I think it is. I think he did online as well. Smith when you need him to uh to do a few uh get rid of a few dialects for you. Oh you know what is also uh ironic is the guy who made the uh, the original Jet Set Willy game was Matt Smith as well. Or Matthew Smith.
<laughs> Your match with conspiracy theory. Yeah. Sounded like a bit of a weird squish. If I keep pressing keys on the keyboard like that, it's probably going to screw something up, so it's probably not a very good idea that I do it. Yeah, but, uh, but it wasn't a close. I think that squish didn't quite come out. Uh, the way it was meant to. Spider, stand aside, spider. <laughs> oh dear, this is going well, isn't it? Did I do that other one first? I didn't, did I? I was screwing bollocks. Blast and botheration! You should actually find a clip of Harold Bishop saying blast and botheration and use that. But I can't, you know. <laughs> Did you Google to come up with that? Because if you just Google blast, uh, Google blast and moderation, that is actually a uh, 
a uh, term that probably I don't think it's used now, but it's, it was used in the past. People would actually say it. So, um, where did you get him uh, him from? Did it just come up when you googled it? Because he did used to say it. So I was looking for a clip because um, I was thinking about using it, finding actually a clip of him saying it and using that as an alert. And then I, oh, you Google TV show, yeah, yeah, yeah. been and where I haven't been. Oh, did you see that skill? Uh, I mean, look. <laughs> that was a bit of a look, that was. Bloody hell. so well. I tell you what, I'm getting actually getting hot. Maybe I need to turn the heating off. Unless I'm getting sick. It's still, it may be March but it ain't spring yet. It's still winter. Oh, so now, quotes. Now you know my full name and the, where and the town I live in and everything. That's why you wanted to listen to that, wasn't it? So you could get the old uh, phone police or whatever after me. Yes, it is considered rude, but to be honest with you, I don't, it's not really, it depends who you're talking to, whether they'll take it. It can also be a sign of like, oh look at me, I'm Mr. Tough Guy, I'm, I've got my hands in my pants and hands down my pockets. Yeah. It can be a sign of that as well. Oh, yeah, yes. It, like I say, it, it depends who you're talking to. A lot of people, particularly younger people, probably wouldn't really care. And if it's cold outside and you've got your hands in your pockets deep and warm, A bit like me when I lived in America, because I tend to be like you, 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 like that in people, and that, especially when it, somebody pees me off, and that is extremely rude, especially in the, in the, your country, I know. Not so bad there. More like uh, 
in your pant, uh, trouser pockets or pants pockets. That's more, more that you would uh, And then, and then, when I got to realise how sensitive... I mean, it's not very polite here, but people wouldn't care so much. When I got to find out how uh, rude it was considered and how sensitive some people are over it, I would do it purposely when someone peed me off to annoy them. Look, you... You know... <laughs> well, although now with this uh, freaking coronavirus crap, people are probably want you to keep your hands in your pockets out the way. People are getting very, very paranoid about it. And I'm not going to go into detail about it, but it's uh, I can understand why people are concerned. But we're all going to get it. It's not going to be contained. And in most cases, we'll all be fine. Just like having the flu. You're not even as bad as having the flu. There, uh, uh, there somebody came on, um, somebody came on the radio and said, some health official and said, look, with all this outbreak, do not forget the flu. Because there are people, people, far more people dying and getting ill from the flu than there are from that. <sighs> Canned goods and stuff. The best thing to do is just keep yourself clean. If you, if you, if you're fit and healthy, and you get it. We're probably going to be okay. I can, uh, I can understand people being concerned because it's an unknown, it's an unknown thing. There's no vaccination, no proper treatment, nothing. Not a lot is known about it, and, and it can cause serious illness and even death in some people. So I can quite understand people wanting to be prepared. But our our, our prime minister said, wash your hands for the amount of time it takes you to sing happy birthday twice. That was his official advice. And people have been panicked by, over here, people have been panicked by hand sanitizer. But the best thing to do is to wash your hands with soap and water. That's the best way to clean them. Hand sanitizer is used when there is no soap and water available. <laughs> yeah, I guess he was just trying to give us an idea. But it is a worry, but what you, I don't see the point in panicking about it. Because it was, if we're going to get it, we're going to get it. But then we'll have the antibodies in the system and it won't be as bad. You know, the happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, Quabs, happy birthday to you. You know, that kind of thing. That part I think he meant. And if you're going to sneeze and you don't have a, and you don't have a handkerchief, do you know what the best thing, where the best place to sneeze is? Up here on the top of your sleeve, like that, because, or, um, because that is not going to touch anything. 
if you do this or sneeze into your hand, you then go and touch something or touch somebody and you're spreading your... This is just about getting a cold or anything really. So the best place, if you, the best thing to do is to have a tissue, throw it in the bin afterwards. But if you, if you are going to sneeze and you haven't got anything, do it on the top of your sleeve. That's what they teach you in food hygiene as well. If you're cooking in the kitchen, do, do that. Oh, what in here? Mm, here is higher up. The further down the arm you go, the more likely it is you're gonna to touch something or lean on something. I mean, here is possibly okay, but it's always taught up here. Like, if you're cooking in the kitchen, I used to work in a food factory, Vicky used to work in a kitchen, and we were all taught, do that. If you have to. If you have to do something, do that. Or <clears throat> like that. And then it goes into there. Never do it on your hands. The worst possible place you could do it. Yeah, yeah, elbow pit here, you mean, the, the pit in your elbow. I can see that because what you, what you, like I say, what you're looking at is the least place that's going to touch something. But. <laughs> just, just borrow someone's, can I borrow, can I borrow your shirt? Here. There you go, have it back. <laughs> Problem solved. <laughs> yeah, <coughs> here. <laughs> See, that's when you need hand sanitizer. If you're out, you sneeze into a tissue, you put it in the bin, you've got hand sanitizer in your bag, do that on your hands. At home, you need soap and water. Uh, some, a couple of the pharmacies have said, have told people, have had to have limited how many hand sanitizers they sell to eat one person because people have been buying box loads of it. And it, it's no good. You want soap and water, you don't want bloody hand sanitizer. It sounds to me like in your neck of the woods people have been panicked by, I'm not saying uh, flip flops necessarily, but people have been panicked by in, uh, canned goods and stuff, so they, if they have to stay in their house for a couple of weeks, here is hand sanitizer. It's crazy. hand sanitizer here shake by hand oh that's another thing people are really funny about shaking hands but you know what if you shake somebody's hand anyway you're not gonna go unless you go shake the hand and then go wipe it all over you you're not gonna catch anything you shake your hand then you use your hand sanitizer or you wash yourself if you're worried if you shake your hand and keep your hand that hand that you've just used away from your mouth and your face you're not going to catch anything. The, the worst part is somebody walking down the street and sneezing and coughing. <laughs> That's the worst thing. Spreading it and going in the shop and sneezing all over the food and stuff in the supermarket. That's how it spread. And going to work sick. Because they don't get paid for having sick leave. Yeah, you see, that's what you've got to be careful. If, you, if somebody's got a bad car, I'm not just talking about this particular 
virus, I'm talking about anything, a cold even. You know, you sneeze into your, you, you, you go, you shake, somebody's just coughed, right, and they go like that, which is the worst thing you can do. I told you, that's that or that. That is the worst thing you can do if you've got no tissue. They do that, and then they shake your hand. And then you put your hand in front of them, your face, you've got something, you've got a disease. There you go, here's an lady that knows all about that. Hello, Rose. How are you doing? We're just discussing the best ways to stop spreading diseases. The best thing to do is to avoid contact with people altogether. Yeah, well, I haven't, have I? I've touched my coffee pot, I've touched my thing, you know. And I watched, I cooked, I cooked, uh, I cooked supper tonight, or tea as we call it. I cooked spaghetti bolognese, so I hope I wash my hands before I do that, otherwise, we're both getting, Vicky and I are both getting sick. I say about not coming on about it. It's just seriously though. I'm not. Ta I'm not saying it's it's uh, anything to be taken lightly. But panic buying canned food and panic buying hand sanitizer is not going to solve the problem. We're going to get it. Let's face it. Most people are going to get it, and most people will be fine. If they follow the follow advice. Panic might, yeah, because they're that way, when you have got to stay in your house for a, a year to stop it from spreading, you, uh, you've got something to do. I, I screw the food. Let's buy a video game, let's buy Mario Kart and uh, all that stuff. Sit and play Mario Kart. Sneeze all over your Switch. I think I've heard you say that before, Rose. But you're a doctor, so if you had coronavirus, you definitely wouldn't be able to work, would you? <laughs> if you're going to order masks, and you'd know about this, race. If you're going to order masks, order good ones. So a lot of these masks that you can buy are no good. They don't do, serve any purpose at all.
Thank you for the host, uh, Catherine. How are you doing today? Michael Myers Halloween mask. You know what? You wouldn't even have to buy a Halloween mask. You just have to buy a surgical mask or a normal mask and people stay away from you. Oh, we've got the coronavirus away from them. I'm doing okay. Get some Jet Set Winnie in here. You know, Pharaoh was here the other day and he asked me, he just came out with it, have you got coronavirus? And I'm like, huh? I hope not. Yes, 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 and Jet Set Willy. Can I go wrong with a bit of Jet Set Willy? <laughs> but there you go, there you go. I don't think there's much more we can say about it now. I think we've covered all our. Uh, I've had my rant and, uh, about people panicking. Just remember Boris Johnson's advice. Wash your hands for the wash your hands for the time it takes you to sing happy birthday twice. If you follow that advice, we'll all be safe. Hey Rupu, how are you doing? Hope you're doing well today. Holy A! <laughs> so what you know, Catherine, uh, what you been up to then? On your stream? I tell you what though, all this next man. Nice. Oh okay. Nice cashew. Cool. I tell you one though, all this, all this stuff gives me an excuse. Somebody, somebody, I see somebody in the street. Ah, don't touch me! Stay away from me! Because I'm, 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 I'm an antisocial bastard anyway. You see, so it just gives me an excuse now to tell people not to touch me. See if I can't get killed by the bath this time, it would be really nice not to.
blasted bloody bathtubs. Bathtubs and botheration. A blasted bathtub. Killed me, killed by a blasted botheration bathtub. <laughs> Next one will be saying, oh, jolly good old chap, oh, blast of botheration, oh dear, deary me. It's a sorry state of affairs, isn't it? <laughs> no, 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 no. I should do a whole stream talking like that, shouldn't I? See what happens. Maybe not. Oh no, I have to get this. It's to be a really, really uh, sad state of affairs. <laughs> Jolly good. <laughs> That's right, Quibs. A uh, governor. Governor is a cockney. down backwards with this it just makes it easy to keep track of how many items you need or how many items you've got what you really got to do is better read the numbers really work almost done oh I should kill his quibs
world begins and ends. It is hidden in this. I didn't get that, did I? That damn item in the bottom there. I forgot it. Oh, blast. Blast of botheration. You know what, Krebs, I thought of Moomoo Meadows when uh, when he said that as well, Rose. <laughs> we're, all, we're all Mario Kart obsessed. But the thing is, Rose, if uh, if Krebs is a uh, if Krebs decides to play Mario Kart later and you're still at work, who's going to knock the crown off his head? Not me, because I'm a... Uh... I'm busy Jet Set Willy in it. this time I don't know. Oh darn it nearly got me. I've been trying some different uh, character. I tried Wa Waluigi a little bit last night. It seemed to do better with him than I was doing with Metal Mario, so I don't know. But all my uh, all my uh, knees that I've got. creative needs. That Brandon that I've got is stupid. <laughs> I might get, get a thing about uh, retiring Brandon because he's
kind of stupid. He was a bad idea. It's quite a good idea. It's probably been done before, but it's quite a good idea. Quite a funny idea. No, 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 no. You've heard, you've heard enough of me uh, making an idiot of myself today, Quibs. I don't need to make it, I don't need to hear it again. I thought I sounded horrible on the phone. I just sounded... Ugh. Couldn't even begin to... Uh, couldn't even listen to it, right? It was, ooh. Hey, yeah, yeah, what's up, man? How you doing? I think he said the same thing, Quebs, but maybe I'm just self-conscious of myself. But I hear myself talking back on stream and it doesn't seem as bad, but I don't like the sound of my own voice anyway.
you in studio with Mike Karen. <laughs> Were you uh it was it supposed to be English or Polish? Oh, okay. Free, uh, talk to both of them then. I'll probably get a chance to stop by one of your streams uh, sometime. I came in a little bit with you doing Diablo, but I couldn't stay very long really to say too much. I think I was going out or I was doing something. I think it was when I had to take uh, Vicky to the hospital sometime, I think. I don't know, but I couldn't, for whatever reason, I couldn't stay. key got stuck. I think I want to clean the keyboard. I might have something sticky spilt on it. I can't feel it doesn't feel sticky but it might be underneath. I might have some coffee or coke or something splashed onto it. I doubt coffee would be sticky though. Probably smell a bit but It's a bit like uh, Spanglish, Spanish and English. When I used to live in El Paso, I used to hear that uh, that spoken a lot. People would do what they call Spanglish. Technically half American, half Mexican, but half English, half Spanish as well could be considered.
like I was saying earlier, it's a good job there was no fall damage in this game. <clears throat> Should be, you do get killed if you run into the enemies, so you do have to turn to avoid that. Hey, um, Sean, I'm doing some jet set with you at the moment. That is what I am doing. How are you doing? Working hard? Got your name? I don't know. Did I, did I say, what did I call you? Did I call you the right name? What's that weird green thing doing in the top? Work? back up there and see what you're talking about. Sean, S-H-A-W-N. I can't say it in American accent. Oh, I see, I see. <laughs> I, keep, I don't need to call you Lady Cat. That's why I almost called you. And I stopped myself and changed it. I know you're fine. Oh, you mean that thing at the top there, that creature, Catherine? I don't know, don't know what it is supposed to be. I do like the fact that the clock is actually tells the right time. Well, I, I can call you, or whatever. I call you Aisha, I call you Sean, I call you Lady Cat. They're the three names that I know. Yeah, that creepy thing at the top there. I've no idea what it's supposed to be. I just know one thing, Catherine, you have to avoid it. A Wallace and Gromit, yeah. Wallace and Gromit's quite, uh, quite funny. The, the, the uh, guy who does the voices for Wallace and Gromit died, uh, was it last year or the year before? There's all kinds of, there's a, there's a mutant bathtub trying to kill you, Rubik's Cubes. 
Oh, fun, it's supposed to be funny alien things or, or items possessed by aliens or something. I think that's what they're supposed to be. Yeah, yeah, I, I can't remember what, when it was. It was either last year or year before. Chicken run, yeah, I've, I've never seen it all, but I, I, well, not all the way through anyway, but same kind of thing, same kind of humour, same kind of thing. robot priests at all costs. Get up here and do this. Get up here and do it. No sounds when you die, so it's gonna be a bit confusing. Most of the time, I seem to have that pretty much under control. Sometimes I lose a plot, I get stuck on the platform and spiked, or got by those weird spidery things. Now we have to return this way. There's a razor blade there, Dalek, a funny looking thing in an upside down party hat. It's very, very, I call it atmospheric music. What uh, freaked me out the first time I heard it is because there's that little bit in there with the guy talk when the guy talks. 
And the first time I heard that, I thought, ah, it's talking. But yeah, it's. Uh, I think this this whole game has got a kind of atmosphere to it, which is uh, one of the reasons I like it. Kind of epic, yeah, in a way. I'll tell you something. Uh, if I can find the right one. See this? See that? It's the original TARDIS and the original Daleks. From 1963. Oh, and I got something else. Something else. Hang there a second. Original, as in the first ones. The Doctor, the first Doctor Who, got back in 1963. I should be back. Give me a second. It's an old, it's an old picture. So look. It's with me with a darling. I've got one with a Cyberman and one with K9 somewhere, but I don't know where they are. That's a photo. Um, that one I got up there. It's obviously been reframed and everything, but it's a photograph. Tom Baker was a good one. A bit of. One of the good doctors, one of the better ones of the early times. Oh, but that, that picture is about, oh, I don't know, 12, 13 years old, if not older, oh, older than that, maybe. Pyramids of Mars was a good one. Back in the 20th century, yeah, way back in the 20th century, back in the day. Um, Sylvester McCoy, yeah. He wasn't the worst one.
but it's more like comedy with him. Sylvester McCoy, yeah, I think he was in the late 80s. I don't know when they stopped uh, showing Doctor Who because then they had. Then they had the, the film, didn't they? The TV film. That race, 1990s was only like five years ago, wasn't it? Rackleston was a good one. He was a good one. He wasn't in it for very long though. That's the thing with him. But season yeah he did one season then uh, David Tennant took over it didn't he Okay, Rupert. Thanks for being here. Thanks for lurking. No problem.
focus now, focus now. I got off with a bit of a shaky start. Here we go. I never, obviously I never um, I remember when, I remember, if I'm not mistaken, um, Yara, wasn't Poland one of the first uh, countries in Eastern Europe to um, uh, get rid of the, uh, communism? I may, I may be mistaken there, but I believe Poland was one of the first countries to do that, wasn't it? Yeah, I thought so, yeah, I remember. It was a long time ago. So I'm showing my age as well, but... too badly considering the shaky start that I had.
Not the best of starts, but... Doesn't this... <laughs> doesn't necessarily mean anything bad, does it? Come on. Come on. done wrong there, I knew I screwed up. Yeah, it's one of those situations where I knew I screwed up, but it was too late to do anything about it. save again after a bit of a rocky start but it seemed not to be doing too badly so before left
I get the impression, I mean, obviously, yeah, I don't, I'm not from Eastern Europe and I've never visited Eastern Europe, so I don't know, know the real situation here, but I get the impression that a lot of the younger, I know some people from Eastern Europe, a lot of people here came in through the European Union, and I've known some people, but I get the impression that a lot of people in some of those, some of the Eastern European countries, who are young people, don't remember what it was like back in the, the Soviet days, and sometimes I think uh, I get the impression that it's uh, you know they don't always appreciate it. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm, I'm wrong because uh, and not everybody, not every young person is like that, but. It's a bit like people here who uh, forget what the uh, and the Poland as well, I suppose, forget all the all the um, sacrifices that people made in the uh, first and second world war as well. That my grandparents made to make um, you know to help shape how things are and uh, to give people the freedom to be assholes and to take things for granted and to uh, you know. I mean, not everybody's like that, but there are a lot of younger people that do tend to forget. Up we go, that was close. Close as finals, we'll hit them. Got squishies. Hello, Rocco. Good evening. How are you? It's probably it's probably just about good evening where you are as well. First time I heard that high pitched noise of that, I thought it had uh, fucked up and the uh, sound had got stuck.
Ah, I thought I was doing too well. Ah, uh, too well. Four to go, that's all. They're yeah, not many, you know, like 84 items. Another problem this game does have through glitches where you can get stuck in the middle of a platform like that. Down to 70 now. There's 68 more items to go. Should that be too difficult? Oh no, just have 67 more items. You know, small things. Incredibly stupid thing to do, Simon, was it not?
e-static. Now I've done screwing around going up to hour. That was close, almost didn't pay attention. If I was him, I'd be very, very dirty because I would not want to take a bath in that fucking bathtub. The bathtub is possessed. to a squish anyway. So now that we're going to take a bathroom break, I'll come back and I'll uh, load up a different jet set, will you? So, uh, I've got a bit of get out of here first. I will be back.
the back. You probably heard because I left my mic on. Silly me. Hey, Pharaoh. Yes, Pharaoh, I quite agree. Silly me. As there was Daleks in the last one, well there'll be Dalek in this one. Need to move this over because my game screen is I can see my OBS underneath it and I can kind of see two lines of Daleks at the bottom of the screen. Obviously I screwed that one up. Well done Simon. Okay Arrow, thanks for being here as always. I'll uh, have a good night's sleep. See you again. We should have probably stayed in the closet.
There's, there's two items there, and then we're gonna go down here. One from down here. Try and get those ones up there. getting out there. Quite possibly not the best way, but it's one way. Simon. These items are definitely worth getting. Yeah, this is probably the best music. Uh, yeah, this is the best music selection to have. For this game. Welcome back. mind to it. There you go, no problem. trying to uh, you know figure out trying to just time it right there but oh for goodness sake I 
going, not worth going up anywhere. There's nothing really up there. Maybe the yard item or two, but. Those ones over the other side can stay there for now. Good booze pantry. And when this room was assigned, some of you obviously had a quite a serious toilet fetish. down here. Those ones right at the top there can oh, chance so that can stay there for now. Sorry, sorry, I meant blast and botheration. Ah! Promise I'll never do that again. Scare the shit out of everybody. It's hard enough as it is without doing stupid things like that. Wheelchair when he gets on. Okay, that'll be a blast and botheration time again.
I just came off really, really light-headed. I tell you what, I should be right back. I'm not going to put my be right back screen on, so I'm just going to go and get a drink because I really felt like I was going to pass out just then. I don't know what was the matter with me. Uh, funny thing is, Vicky says she's been getting like that lately, so maybe we've got a slight bug or something. I'm going to get myself a drink. I should be right back. I shan't stop it. Run back. I just want to get something because, uh, hmm. I'll be alright, I'm pretty sure, but uh, I don't even feel too good. Oh, look at that. I need a bloody haircut again, look. Look at this bloody hair starting to grow. Ugh. Need to shave it off. Right, come on, Jet Set Willy. Let's get on with this. I do apologise about that, but I just didn't feel very well for a sec uh, very good for a second there. I think I'm alright now, but. Could be blood pressure. I don't know. Well, hey, hey, wheelchair, well, it's quite good at that. Yeah, I don't know what happened, I just felt really light-headed, like I was going to pass out. Just for a second, and then I'm, I'm alright again now. Fine, but... Yeah, I think it's, uh, sounds like you have a bit of vertigo, but with me, I think it's, um, I think it's blood pressure. It's either blood pressure or blood sugar, blood pressure I think. We'll go down again, if we get far enough, we'll go in a different way. I know I've got to go and have a blood pressure monitor again. We have one of those monitors that you wear for like 12 hours. So they can check my blood pressure. Because they're not happy with it. But I already have two different types of blood pressure medicine. Because if you remember, I... Um, I took them twice uh, a few weeks ago, didn't I? By mistake. I do have a problem with my blood. The blood sugar is just start borderline. I've just got to watch it. And I've got tablets if it gets too high, like when I was feeling funny the other day. But that could have been blood pressure as well. But blood pressure, I have to always be on tablets for and. I have a problem with it. And now it's uh, been high again. So. This is going to sound really weird, but you know, I mentioned before that chair over there where Maisie sits, I just thought I saw Looney in it. Just briefly, out of the corner of my eyes, something went, a, car, a loud vehicle or something went past, or somebody 
dickhead of a car uh, putting a foot on an accelerator. And, um, and I saw a sit up. So I thought I saw. I thought I saw Lumi. She'd have been 11. It would have been her 11th birthday. I don't know whether it was a birthday today, beginning of March, she'd have been around. Oh yeah. Yes. Sometimes I think they do come back and see you, because I'll tell you what, Ray, so I have felt, not with Luli, but with uh, other cats I had at my parents' house, I've felt them on my bed. And literally, like, there was a cat on my bed, and I sat up to see who's there, and I haven't seen anything. But you want to see something really funny? We hear something really, really weird. Uh, when I first met Vicky, she used to come and stay with me at my parents' house, and she moved in with me there for, until we got a place of our own. And I would always put a cat on my bed, and I, you know... And one day, Vicky said, I think I've just seen your cat, and she was describing it. He said, I don't know if it was dark, and it had white feet, but I couldn't really tell much else about it. I said, oh, okay. And then we were looking through some old pictures, and she saw a picture. I said, that was a cat I saw. And it was my cat, one of our cats, Sam, and he, he died a few years back. And um, he spent a lot of time in that room with me. And she had never seen it before, him before. So that was that was weird. So I do think that animals can come back and see you. You've lost power? Does that mean you can't do anything? That's a bit, uh... It just happened, has it? Uh-oh. Does that mean you have to stay later and do it? Or hope not. normally take you to get home from work. How much long journey do you have? Right now, this is uh, this is Sam I was telling you about. That's the cat that she saw. That's my old room when I was a uh, wee lad when I was like in my, oh, I was like 20 odd. Okay, Rose. 
But yeah, that was him. That was the cat I was just talking about. Yeah, he was taking, he was uh, abandoned as a kitten. His mother had abandoned him. And he was the only one left alive and they found him in a, in a basement somewhere. happy those idiots out there trying to kill somebody. Really am not. Botheration. Again, we'll leave those ones at the top there. Super happy fun room. A relief. You can get you can get the rest of your work done now. Yeah, no power. Do you have do you have no lights or nothing?
Assuming there are people, other people there with you. I'm assuming, are there? bit uh, creepy then. Well, I'm glad it came back on. You know, the most scary experience I've had at work is I was working in a, uh... oh no, well perhaps I shouldn't tell you what I was just about to tell you then, if it's creepy there with the lights off. I don't want to, uh... I don't want to make you even more creeped out, so perhaps I won't say it. I was going to tell you a little bit of a scary story about my, uh, an experience I had at work. Maybe I think it was somebody else pranking me, but to this day nobody, nobody admitted doing it. can steady well stay there. Huh. I'm glad you got your power back. Hopefully it will stay on for a bit longer. What happened with me, you mean? Well, I was working in a, 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 a as part of a group of about five people. We used to clean a, a factory at night time, an onion factory. Nobody was at work. It was about 1 a.m., 1.30 a.m. And there was supposed to be a ghost in there of an old foreman that had died. Um, and he was supposed to, and there was supposed to be another ghost of a little girl in another room, but but uh, I was working near where this foreman was supposed to be and all of a sudden there was a locked door and on the other side of the locked door there was like a little courtyard outside bit they used to use for storage and a few bits and pieces were out there and nobody could get out there and all of a sudden I heard like bang 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 bang, bang like this on the wall on the it was like a corrugated metal wall for factory and her bang 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 on it and it actually made me drop what I was doing and I'm running into the other room where a couple of the other guys were working for a second and then obviously I went back to my job but 
I saw somebody was pranking me, but I don't know how anybody could have got out there. But oh, that was not good. That was very, very scared the crap out of me. It literally made me run out of where I was into where I knew there were other people. My big concern was actually not so much the ghost, but the uh, somebody being there who shouldn't be. But there was security and everything, so there was cameras. But I think it was one of the other guys pranking me, but I do not know how they got out there without me seeing them. And how they would have got back in without me seeing them. Because there was two women there and two other guys, and I knew the women weren't in there were near there. And the guys were... Both guys were in, including the guy who I thought might have, might have pranked me, were in that other room where I went running into. And I eventually opened the door to look out, and there was nobody out there. the central cavern. There we go. Bit of manic minor reference for you there. I don't expect to get too much further, but we'll just give it a shot, you know. this time. This funny toothbrushy looking thing.
<sighs> See if I can make this jump. Without having to faff around and go back. Or oh, without dying. On the easy part. Yeah, 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 the other screen. Dying up crazy here. This is not good. Good. This is good if I can focus on it. Especially if there's so few lives left. Okay, do that right, it's easy. It's one of those things you can quite easily screw up on though. And do an otherwise easy area, otherwise easy part, 
しかねWe are getting somewhere. This is one of those sprites where it's easier to judge where it's landing because you can just look at the feet. The problem is with the sprites on here is that you get all these different sprites but the hitbox never changes. So some of them can be right, quite difficult to see where you're going. Both with um, regards to running into enemies and in regards to landing on surfaces. In regards, to, I mean, with regards to. And there's a Mega Man sprite here, which is way, way bloody. Uh, right pain in the bum. Come on, come on! Yes! Macaroni, Ted, Periscope, whatever.
Right, got a death loop. Already got a death loop. Grand Fragantastic. Stuck here, that's clean, eh? I don't think anything works, I think it's just something slightly sticky got on it. of fame. I'm not quite reached the paparazzi stage yet, they'll probably be scared of me. Especially if they heard that, if they heard my singing attempt, they'll definitely be scared of me. Actually interested in hearing it, Ray's. I will. Um, I'll message you on Discord with a link to where you can hear it. Yeah, 
It went all right. It's all right as it's gonna go. I'm sorry, I forgot to actually tell you it happened. I told Quebs and I told Ian, but I don't think I've told anybody else really. think about it. I'll do it while I think about it. It's not the game, it's the keyboard, I think. The directional key keeps getting stuck. I need to clean the keyboard. I've got plenty of USB keyboards if there is a problem with it, but... I don't know where I thought I was going. I do actually need to be down here. Well, I have to get these items anyway.
Problem raised, you're welcome. Hopefully you won't regret it when you do listen. What have you clicked, Pharaoh? <laughs> okay. I see. It was only a mild madness. <laughs> That's no problem, Pharaoh. No problem. I want to be careful, haven't I? Because somebody will clip something. It's like that. Woohoo, graphics! That time. <laughs> Secret passage, 99 items already.
<laughs> fiddle, fiddle. Fiddle, fiddle, fiddle. Blast and botheration. Blah, 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 blah. That's what I've got to say about that. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. A second, I'll be back in a minute. Can I pop out to do something? I'm back. So take care of something really quickly. Try try this way again. Hopefully it won't get into a death loop this time. Or just walk into something. Last point last of last time. Well, you're probably not going to get much further past it. No, because I'm going to definitely now look. I'll do it. I'll go with
So you're just god awful sprite. But I'll try the bad one, really bad one sometimes. Second time lucky, I suppose. Yes, indeed. Music's a bit rough on the old ears. I can hear like a fly, sound like a, a low buzzing noise, like a flyer buzzing around or something. Goodness for the respawn immunity there, otherwise. And I've had a death loop. On the Dragon 32 version of this, you respawn at the point where you die, not just the room you die in, the actual point you die at. So as far as the, these falling death loops are concerned, you can't really get. But if I was to walk up to one of these guys here and stand and just let him come up and get me, I'll get a death loop then. It'll be a constant respawning, you know, right in his next room, if you know what I mean. Bugger it! Blast and botheration. Screw it. Let's just sit back, watch me die. Now, this music, if you can call it music, uh, it actually gave me an earache one time. So do not worry, I will not be subjecting myself or anybody else to that noise.
This, on the other hand, is cool Musa music. Bloody directional key. That's the keyboard. Something because you spill it on it. Almost got through the bottom bit that time. Didn't get it through my shelves. This way. Change your plan. I know what left for several many lives, but This way very often now. Since I've had the memory, my memory jobs.
Right boys and girls, I'm going to call it it now for tonight because I'm getting a little bit tired and I'm just going to call it for tonight. But I should be back tomorrow. It'll be an earlier stream tomorrow and it'll be an earlier stream Thursday. So the next two days are going to be earlier ones. But um, I shall see you tomorrow with whatever it is we play. Have a good night and I'll find somebody to host and hand you over to. Have a good one.